Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you. Uh, hopefully, we have enough of these videos to show you all the different configurations we do for different trips we take. But uh, for this one, this is just a. I'm going off and I'm going to go backpack for a couple days trip. And so uh, in here, I have my. This is a little Chinese. Uh, knockoff of a um, Maxpedition set here. So this is what this is. And I will go in the other room and show you what's in here. It's good for about three days. So if you want to go backpacking for three days, um, that's what that's good for. Okay, so this is the backpack um, that we, I just took out of my uh, travel pack on my motorcycle. And it's, like I said, it's not a Maxpedition, it's a Chinese knockoff, right? So the, it was $40 compared to, at a gun show, uh, compared to the $140 you buy on Amazon for the, I think it's a Vulture 2 or something like that, Condor 2, or I don't, I'm not really sure. But, um, uh, Guy didn't know what it was. It looked like the same thing, but hey, you know, the quality's not as good. The, the straps are a little bit and not as great, but um, you know, uh, it works. Uh, on this side here, um, I usually have a little green mini um, L-shaped flashlight here, which I kind of fits right here, and uh, you press it, and you, you know, just. Um, light your way. Also, in my tool kit, I have the headlamp that I could use. Um, on this side, I have a pair of really nice binoculars. We took these to the Caribbean. Uh, they're really good. They're um, bush nail uh, times 10. You can see pretty good with these. On this side, I have a little uh, Maxpedition bundle. I use this uh, to collect firewood or um, I can put extra bottles of water in it. And so just pull this out. And there you are. It has a nice little drawstring here. So you can, you can make it tight if you want. Um, but that's what that is. I just took the, the bundle off and the uh, binoculars off so uh, we can start going around and go through the contents of the bag and what all I, I put in here for a nice two day, uh, two easy days, um, maybe three days. This, this really is not that much. Right now I have about 16 pounds. It's 16 pounds for everything. Uh, add about four pounds of water and food, um, you know, a couple extra things, you know, miscellaneous four pounds. I I'm under 20, so with this backpack, so we you can go pretty pretty good with this. Um, you hardly even know it. Matter of fact, the day packs we have usually are 10 pounds when we put all of our food, you know gear in it and and just go walking for the day. Okay, so nice little carrying handle here. Um, Really good clips all the way down. Okay, there is a place for hydration and all that other stuff, uh, which is good. Uh, on this side, I just carry, um, I lost my other carabiner, so I've got this little uh, hole punch thing, and um, it works okay. There's lots of molly on this, on this pack. It is pretty comfortable to wear. It is not the most comfortable. It's not going to beat a Osprey uh, pack. But for um, lightweight, uh, it fits. This is my precept jacket. It's my rain jacket. Um, you don't need you don't need rain uh, pant bottoms, you know, especially if you're in shorts or something like that. But um, this you can't beat this. I got this for thirty four dollars. It's regularly a hundred dollars. So. Um, 
Dick's Sporting Goods had a clearance. And, um, there you go. It's a nice little rain jacket. Uh, taped up. Very, very high quality. I love it. Um, it's relatively lightweight. It's a nice rain jacket. Uh, you guys can see um, all the reviews on this online. And I don't think I've ever seen a bad review for this. So we'll just put that right here. Um, on this side, I have this uh, aqua vessel. Um, it's a water bottle. Right? I have it on a little carabiner here. This carabiner came, it's just a little tiny thing. It came with my Sea to Summit uh, Trek 1 sleeping bag. But I don't use that in this system. This is uh, for summer. Um, you could probably go three seasons with what I have in here. But it's not, it's not very warm in here. Um, this does have a, a filter here. So you could put your water straight in here. It is aluminum, but I would not cook on it because of this plastic ring. Um, so you just kind of put that in here. About four ways to cook, so I wouldn't worry about that. And uh, you know, you just drink right out of here, right? So that just hangs right here off this carabiner. Boom, very good. Um, on the bottom, I just have the Thermarest Z Light. This goes in the hammock, by the way. Uh, nice reflective, it'll give you some. Um, R value on the bottom. Uh, it's um, it's not as good as under quilt, but uh, it's pretty good. This this and maybe a little a blanket below is is all you really need below you. Okay. Okay. So um, in this little there's a little ring here. Uh, you can hang something. So um, let's talk about this. That's right here. Molly everywhere. I wouldn't put anything on this molly because it's already pretty wide out, but it, it does feel pretty good. Uh, and here I have a power cable and data cable and a solar powered, um, uh, it's called po uh, Power Aid. Um, a little solar powered Dilly Bob to, to power your phone with. Um, Hang that off of that, off of here with a carabiner, and you are, or up here, you're charging as you're hiking. So that's good. That, that'll charge your phone about three times. Um, I also have uh, some headphones for nighttime to listen to music, and I have a platypus. I think this is two liters, it might be three, I don't know, two liters. Um, you know, you want some extra water at camp, you can go fill this up. Not bad. Um, you can even use that water uh, filter if you want. You can just take it out and gravity drain it in here. Um, not bad at all. Um, that's all that's in this. I'm, I'm a fan of not overpacking, so always leave some of your room. Okay, so now this this package in this pack right here. This is where I keep my food. Um, like I said, a couple days of food is all all you're gonna carry in here. Um, I have a little bandana. Um, good for getting stuff off the stove. And then my. A big old package of food. Um, you can put uh, oh oatmeal and top ramen, some uh, dehydrated uh, or you know beef jerky, um, or tuna, uh, and uh, a whole bunch of freeze dried stuff. Uh, you can even uh, take some Mountain House meals and divide them up into packages and put them in here. And one Mountain House meal is, <laughs> is two good dinners for me. So that's uh depending on how much you're expending. So that's good. There, um, I have my remora. Yeah, you gotta, has been cleaned, sorry. Uh, 
last camping trip. We were splitting some logs. Extremely sharp. Very nice. This Mora Black. It's a really good uh, Bushcraft knife. Um, lots of reviews on this. You can't go wrong. The price is is very very cheap. This is, I think this is like a hundred fifty dollar knife for thirty five dollars. Not not bad at all. Okay. Um, so that's all that I put in here. Um, you know, food, knife, and a bandana. That's it. Now for the main, well, here's, here's this bath, pouch here. This is the other pouch. Um, fire starting stuff, some candles, some tea candles. Um, that's what goes in there. I have some matches in here. Uh, it's a compass, a little whistle. Um, made in Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, I usually don't carry this, but uh, but uh, this is this is in this patch. Um, then extra underwear, clothes, socks. Um, you know, one change of clothes. You don't want too many changes of clothes uh, in here. Some uh, some light stuff, just in case you get uh, wet and you don't want to. Um, you don't want uh, you want to wear wet clothes. It's good to have this stuff when you're uh, in camp. Then, little emergency uh, poncho. These are actually pretty good. They're like 80 cents or sometimes 50 cents at the dollar store. They do work really good. Um, I don't have to take the precept jacket if I if I have this. And if you're out for a couple days and it, and it doesn't rain, you know, um, or if it rains once, you know, this is good. You can make a little shelter with this. This is pretty good. There's, it's uh, probably the best 80 cents you can buy emergency stuff. Um, you can put it, so a little extra food in here if you can uh, fit it. Um, let's see, I have this pack. I have uh, some some aspirin and uh, diarrhea medicine and Benadryl and uh, two different types of aspirin. Uh, let's see, uh, Advil and um, uh, what kind do you use? Um, uh, Tylenol, uh, knife sharpener, and that is all that's in this package. Okay, so last pack, last uh, little pouch that I put stuff in. Um, let's see here. That's the one we just went through. This, this pouch right here. So. I have a little sponge, a couple alcohol pads, good for starting fires and those nasty ones. Uh, little little cup. This is this is actually a pretty good cup. I like this, uh, and I like uh, extra plastic bags. You can never go wrong with extra plastic bags. Um, let's see here, it's just little kitchen sponges. Got um, this little spoon. And this cup, this little seed of summit cup. You can put boiling water in here if you want. It's, uh, it's the same stuff that they have uh, baking muffin pit, uh, tins. Uh, nice little lip here. You can hold on to it, put your coffee in here. Um, I, you know, it's nothing you can put on open flame, but you can put some water in there or your oatmeal or something. And then just wash it out, you're, you'll be fine. Packs down nice and small. Yeah, so all I have in here is um, the cup, spoon, a couple alcohol pads, a little sponge, some dish soap. Um, not biodegradable, but uh, you know we don't have that. So uh, yeah, I don't leave me any messages saying I should use it. I know, uh, but that's what we have. So I'd rather go camping with the wrong stuff than not at all. So there you go. Let me put this up. Okay, so uh, in here. Is everything you need to actually uh, shelter and everything. Um, so uh, let, me, let me just do my cooking first. So here's my solar uh, stove cooking set. 
Uh, it is kind of big for this pack, but uh, it's another bandana. So I got two. I don't need two, but I have two. I guess if one gets wet. Um, so here you have the solar stove. And so let's talk about this for a little second. Um, I haven't burnt any wood in it yet, uh, but it's a gas wood like the ones I make. Um, uh, got a nice uh, uh, 30 ounce pot. Solid steel. I like it. It's not like those cheap ones that you're gonna, you know, burn up like we did last trip. Um, some things you don't want to go cheap on. Sometimes things you can. Uh, cookware is not one of those things you don't want to go cheap on. So. I don't have the fuel in here, but this is the Tangia stove. Everyone has seen these. Um, let's not open this. Um, this is the Solaris wood uh, gas stove. I just basically put this guy in here and put the pot up here. And that's what I do. Uh, but if you don't want any fuel, you can leave this guy at home, and this will run just off a handful of twi twigs, pine cones, whatever it is you can find out there. Um, no, no big deal at all. Um, I have other wood gas stoves that I've made, and probably not as fancy as this, but take a look at that. Um, I guess it discolors a little bit up here, but, you know. Um, anyhow, so we'll put that off to the side here. Actually, let me take this. Let me take this guy out. Okay, so um, let's go in here. I'm gonna pull this out. This is a little Esbit stove. Um, just, just different options. You you know you have. Uh, this is a good plate, but let me show you what you can do if you don't have this plate. So let me put this thing together. So it goes together really easy. You just put it together just like this. I said really easy, didn't I? And it's just a little bit of a bend here. Okay, so you see it goes to eat. Uh, now, usually, you snap this guy in here and you can put an esbit on there. I, I use this just to hold my lantern so it doesn't wobble. You could probably put a little fire in here, but what I do is I take this esbit, uh, this um, Tangia stove, and I put them in. I put it in here. Now, now listen to this. When you push it down. You see how it locks in there? Locks into place. And this guy fits perfectly right there. Alcohol stove with a nice little pot stand, um, a windshield, and holder. So that's pretty that's pretty good. I like that. Works pretty good. Okay. This is as much space as it takes up. Right here, no space at all. If you wanted to, all you had to do is take the uh, pot and this, and you'd be set. Okay, so what else is in here? This is my sleeping bag. This is a thermal reactor sleeping bag liner. It's not the extreme, so it's uh, they say it reduces uh, it 15 degrees, right? So it's um, gives you positive 15 degrees more comfort than to any sleeping bag. So if you have our Trek ones are 32 degree bags, this uh, would bring it down to uh, 17 degrees. So uh, this guy here, um, uh, plus 15. So with this and my 
this old bivy bag. Um, I am good to about 35. And that's all you need, really, for mo almost everything you're doing. So I'm not going to open this up, but nice little cotton or some kind of bivy some kind of uh, liner in there. I'm not sure what it's made out of. Um, here I have the, my whole my whole um, uh, rest of my uh, gear. Um, take a look at what's in here. There's not much else in here. You could put a lot more stuff in here. You could put a, um, some socks. You could fit some stuff in here, but I'm pretty much packed. Um, like I said, I like a lot a little a little less um, little extra room so that uh, when you put all this stuff back in, it fits, and you don't have to be like a Houdini to get everything back in. Um, let's take a look at this. So this is my hammock and everything. Um, so in here, it's not packed very well, like I said. I don't, I don't like, uh, I just shove things in. A little net, oh, I don't have a uh, big net for the uh, hammock. I just put this over my head. I have a little hat. The head over the head, this head, this bill keeps this off. Now let me just show you. It's also Sea of Summit. I guess I like Sea of Summit stuff. There we go. Shake out all the leaves. Hope there's no ticks in there. Good. Um, so, you see, when I'm sleeping, this bill here keeps it right off my face. Um, the sleeping bag's up to here. Um, nothing's going to get in. No mosquitoes are going to get me. If I want to spray this down with some bug spray before I put it on, I, I don't like to get, get it in my front of my face, but if I put it on the sides, uh, nothing's really going to get it. There's a drawstring here. So, I mean, I could actually draw this in, and nothing is really going to get me. Okay, so it goes back, right back into its little tiny, cute little stuff back here. Um, this, this keeps you from having to have a, a, a big old, um, liner that's like, like this. Um, I have, a this whole sleeping system on another video, uh, all set up actually in the rain, um, one of our, uh, camping where we had the coyote come into camp, but that's another story. Okay, so, um... For all this. So here we have, this is the uh, Soul Escape Vivi Tactical, because I don't like orange. Um, this guy is good for 50 degrees, down to 50 degrees, maybe even a little uh, cooler. Um, it is lined with this material, so it does reflect some part of your body heat back to you. It is waterproof, so even if you are in your uh, sack, uh, you're going to be on top of this thermal light, you're going to have this guy inside of this guy. So you're going to have uh, these two on top of this thermal light here and um, inside the hammock. And this is going to be uh, with, with this net over top of your head. And it's going to be uh, good for 90% of any camp trip you're ever going to take. You're going to be dry. You're going to be comfortable. A hammock is so much more comfortable than sleeping on the ground. Um, uh, but these two together would be perfect. You see how small this is. You don't need much more than that. Um, let's see in here. This is this is the tarp that um, is the AquaQuest tarp. It is a very high quality, very nice tarp. This is the material of the tarp. It's completely rain re um, rainproof, uh, windproof. It's uh, really good. I don't have the tarp in here. I, have, I just stuffed the tarp down here uh, in my bag, my stuff bag. This this stuff sack came with my um, Six Moons uh, Duo Lunar, Duo Lunar um, uh, tent, uh, but the tent is in a, a different stuff sack, so uh, compression sack actually. So let me show you what I have in here. So what I have in here is this is my um, UC UCO. Lantern. This is the lantern I showed on my um, video. So you just um, you actually hang it from my ridge line like this. 
this gets very very hot so you want to make sure that it gets lower down into your ridge line um, if you bump it like this uh, it's okay but some of the wax will if you bump it too much some of the wax will come out and uh, you'll you'll have a nice mess to clean up gives me light you put citronella candles in here from the ridge line and you will not get mosquitoes um, there is an extra tea candle on the bottom here well, here's here's my tea there's my candle from last time but um, here's an extra candle here so look at that brand new never been used So, and again, I've got a couple extra tea candles in here in my back, in my pack. Uh, citronella candles are, are going to be are going to be nice uh, at night, but um, uh, this is good if you're if you're going off to the bathroom or something. You don't want to waste your batteries. Okay, so that's for this. I got this neat little thing, so it doesn't make enough a lot of noise, and if I drop it, I don't have to worry about breaking the glass. Okay. Um, also in here, nice little sleep, uh, nice little pillow. Um, it blows up. It's very, pretty comfortable. Is this, I think it's pretty comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, wife used this last time and, uh, it worked out good. There's a, there's actually a kit in here, uh, for holes. Um, so there's a whole kit in there. Or maybe I put it in the bottom of this, I'm not sure. Um, Fold up nice and neat. Knot um, are my straps. These are my straps for my hammock. Uh, no knots, no tying, no nothing. Um, this is for this uh, little piece of rope is for my ridge line here. And uh, you can actually put it lower or higher on your ridge line depending on uh, how how you want it. You know how uh, how low you want it. Um, I don't I don't like it too high. I don't like it too low. I like it just right. So um, piece of rope for that. I just keep that there. These are very good ha uh, hammocks here. I did take a look at the um, oh I forget what that school is called, um, but it, I did take a look at um, using rope and tying. But this is so much easier. Why not be easy? Um, of course, I'm going to have a tarp over top of my hammock so I don't get wet. And these little cheap, they do bend a little bit, but these little cheap uh, uh, tent pegs, aluminum, they're not the lightest in the world. But, you know, I don't, I'm not doing 2,100 miles uh, on the AT, so uh, I don't need to be light, that light. And again, like I said, with food, water, everything, I'm at 20 pounds. So there you go, my tent, tent pegs. And here's my hammock. And it is just a little cheap Inu hammock. And uh, so here I have a couple carabiners. And I'm not going to take the hammock out. Uh, no need to in my living room, but there you go. There's a couple. These are mountain climbing carabiners with uh, screw downs. You don't need to, you don't need the screw downs, but um, that is the hammock. And there's another video. There's another video that um, uh, you can take a look at. Uh, this is, I guess, this is not an Enu hammock. Oh. Eh, we just got this at the Outer Banks. Works good. This is what I use. So that's the hammock. This is the little kit that came with the pillow. Um, on the bottom here is my tent. Uh, wrapped up by, with the ridge line. And another little thing there. This is so I can stretch my hammock out from one place to another. Uh, this this hand, this uh, my tarp, not my tent. This is my tarp. Uh, that is the the EquiQuest tarp. It is about 
about a hundred dollars. It's a really good tarp. It's eight by ten. It fits over the hammock. Um, I do not get wet when I have this thing up. I stake it out with the stakes, um, and we're we're all good there. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of rope, um, glow in the dark, some cordage, um, already tied with uh, uh, the the good knots that you all have come to love and well, that's that and that's all that and that is if you take a look at everything here it all fits into this bag. So we have our food, extra clothes, cooking, water, purification, sleeping, um, extra bags over there um, for extra water or firewood. Um, you know, we've got light, um, the headlamp, uh, you know, see uh, binoculars, uh, solar power, something to listen to, straps, uh, you know. Pretty pretty comfortable. Um, you can you can go for miles and miles. I'd, I'd say this this setup is good for about two, probably three days. I would not go four days with this, but uh, a couple days is is fine. So, um, so I packed it all up. You saw me pack it all up. One thing that I uh, didn't show you um, is right here, there is a secret compartment with a little holster in here. So if you have a, you have a medium size, I think it even take a large size pistol, you can put it right in there. And it'll be pretty secure. So, uh, 
if you have any comments on this uh, pack out or the packing up of the uh, bike, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in the future, I'm gonna put up other configurations for other trips, long distance trips like our th 3,000 mile trip on the bike. Um, we drove from Virginia to Texas and back. Um, uh, if you have any comments, put them down there. Uh, look, just click on the Google Plus, just join the thing so you can put the comments in there. It doesn't matter. Everybody's got your information anyhow. So put your comments in there. Um, uh, take a look at all this stuff. Tell me what you would leave, what you would add. Um, I don't know. It works for me. So let me know. Thanks.